Okay, there we go. So I'm excited. I spent a few, like an hour trying to figure out how to get this to work. I've, I've live streamed once before, but definitely still learning. So um, I think I got the audio working now. Um, yeah, let's see what happens here. Oh, there, yep. A little bit of a delay, but that's okay. So awesome. Well, even though nobody's watching, this still, it, you know, it's pretty, how do I say, nerve wracking going live. Being a YouTuber who is used to editing himself to bits, to pieces. I mean, you know, some of my videos are more off the cuff, but I definitely have the freedom to edit, but not so when I'm live. Like, look, my dog enters the scene in the background. You see that. Hi, Reggie. Sit. Good boy. Yes, good sit. Uh, okay. Um, so I want to try out live streaming one more time and do some art while we do it. Because last time I live stream, I was just not, I was, I was playing a video game, not doing anything serious. <laughs> um, basically, when I was in kindergarten, like we're talking a long time ago, my, my dream, my first career aspirations was to be an illustrator. I, you know, I liked art. I liked drawing. I wanted to see my, my drawings in books. And fast forward to 2022, and my dream has come true. Check it out. Learn to Stargaze for Kids by John A. Reed and Constellation Art by yours truly, Ford Rasmussen. So I am humbled and grateful for this opportunity. Um, John reached out to me. He saw my art on YouTube of all places and liked my art. And he's an author, wanted to put it in his book. So um, this book is now available. You can get it. There's a link in the description and I can probably post that in the chat too. If I know, I don't really know how to do the chat actually. Um, so I don't know if I'll do that, but uh, it's definitely will be in the description and in the comments later because I don't know, no one's gonna be watching this live probably. <laughs> but if you do join me, thank you. Um, so yeah, link to Amazon. You can get this, pick this book up and check out my art. Um, it's amazing. Like it's not, there's stuff in there that's not my art. Some of it's photographs and other stock footage that John uh, got. However, all the constellation art is my art. And uh, it's very colorful. It's very fun. It's got so many constellations. So you can learn to stargaze, learn what targets to find in the night sky all while, uh, you know, being treated to my art. <laughs> I hope you like it. Um, I also, uh, in the description, you'll, there is a link to my favorite uh, telescope currently, you know, gotta, gotta put in my affiliate links just, just in case. Check it out. Um, it's a good telescope. I still use it. And, uh, you know, I think it's for what, for the price, it's, a, it's decent. I mean, telescopes can be expensive sometimes, but anyway, Let's, let's get to what we came here for. So I, what we have here on the screen, if I can figure this out. Oh yeah, this is, we're in Photoshop here. And I'm going to be drawing the constellation, I believe it's pronounced Scutum, which is this, let's see, zoom in here. This little guy here is very tiny. Um, it actually it should be visible in the night sky about now. Um, this is the season for it pretty much because I know that because we have here, um, oops, that's weird. Oh, that is the right screenshot. Okay, we have here Sagittarius and Ophiuchus, and oh, I believe this is Aquila, this is Cap Capricorn, Capricornus, which are all currently in the night sky. So in this blank area, it's pretty dark. You need dark skies to see it, but this is the constellation Scutum. All it is is a shield, so I, I, this won't be a long, you know, long art, process. I don't, let's see if I can finish it tonight. Um, yeah, let's try it out. So what we do first is we find some reference images. I got this background, this screenshot from Stellarium. Great tool, great, great um, um, desktop application. I think there's a mobile app too. I haven't used that if there is, but um, you know, I recommend it to all astronomers, stargazers. It is very cool. Very cool indeed. Um, but enough about that. I, want, I would like to draw. So what we're going to do here is, um, 
yeah, go for some reference images. In, in Stellarium, the art looks like this. It's a round shield. However, I think <clears throat> these current constellate, oops, these current constellation lines, which I believe these are the ones designated by the International Astronomical Union, or if not, close to that. Um, and even by the stars, you know, it's not very circular. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do a circle shield for starters. Uh, we will see. Let's see what else we might have. So, but I could do some design elements from that, perhaps. If I just Google cool shield art, what can we find? It's an interesting, which way should I draw it? Is the other question. So we're gonna go to white. That's what I'm gonna be drawn with. Bring my, bring it down, pick it down to quite a bit smaller. Oh, this is the, you know what? This is the wrong one to be print worthy. So I need to increase the pixels per inch. So we're gonna to go to image. I mean, this is a tedious process. So kudos to you if you actually watch this video, but let's go to image. Yeah, that was right. Image size or something, where'd it go? Image size. And basically we're just gonna bring the resolution up to 300, which is print worthy. And it's gonna get real big. Preserve details, enlargement, yes. Building preview, thank you. Okay. Awesome. So now we've got a bigger picture of the night sky. I'm going to crop it in a little bit because I don't need these elements from Stellarium. So I could I could content aware erase them, but I have plenty space here. So for now, I'm just going to crop them out. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now what I want to do is isolate the constellation lines for just the constellation that I need. So I'm going to take the lasso tool. I'm going to get the yep. I'm going to just quickly outline this constellation. Control Shift I to invert the selection. Delete. Control D. All right. Got to learn the shortcuts. They really help out. So that's the constellation. Now this layer up here is going to be for my sketch. Got to do a sketch first. Happy little trees. I don't know why that just popped into my mind. Bob Ross is a legend. Um, okay, so let's get some. Let's just get something on on paper here. I'm going to need to get this much bigger. I don't know how much. Eh, that might be good enough. <clears throat> I don't know. So this is kind of like a shield shape, but that's a weird shield shape shape. So I'm going to do something more like maybe, you know, maybe something like that. So that's almost the wrong way. Ah, should I rotate it? Yeah, it doesn't matter the direction, right? I mean, it kind of does. But for now, I'm going to do shield kind of like that. You know, it's and then maybe like it. So, I don't. I don't know how shield. I, I mean, I should do some research on shields, eh? I don't. Mostly, it's designs, right? It needs reinforcement. Usually, they're made of wood. At least, the shields that I'm used to seeing. So um, let's look at some more reference images. Just go to Google. I'm not going to live stream that just in case, because you never know what's going to pop up. <laughs> But rest assured, I'm looking at images, and if I find a good one, I'll bring it over. Um, so copy. I like the shape of this one. I'm going to create a new layer, bring that in. That's a fun shape, right? It's a little, a little unique, and uh, but also like kind of similar to this constellation lines. I could do the traditional, like the classic shape. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm just going to look for a couple more. Well, that's kind of cool. It's hand drawn, it looks. Copy image, bring it over. Control T and rotate it because I have rotated my screen. 
which might come back to bite me. I probably shouldn't have done it this way. I should rotate it afterwards. I'm gonna do that now. So I don't have to keep rotating things. Okay, reset view, and then undo that. Okay. So these are just some reference images. Um, ah, very good, I think this will be the last one. Copy image, bring that over, check that out. So, um, yeah, let's uh, go full screen, zoom out a little bit. Move these guys around, I'm holding down control so it can select what I click. And uh, now we draw, that's upside down currently. But I'm going to ignore the constellation lines because it's digital, and you can you can redo whatever you want. You can re resize, reorient all the things. So sketch number two. Can you erase that first sketch? And now, on top of this, we are going to draw. Hmm. Let's take this shape from the bottom left. Well, maybe, yeah, I think I'll copy that pretty, pretty right on. Well, I mean, as much as my eye can, can copy, it's not perfect. You know, there's always going to be some interpretation from, no, I don't like that. <laughs> Let's see. You know what? I think I got to go traditional, either, either classically round, like the one on Stellarium or this one right here. Oh, you can't see that. And honestly, you know, this is, I can always change it later. This is just a draft. Things can be changed. Even after I think I'm done, I can redo it. Let's make sure it's nice and wide so it can, whoever wields it has plenty of protection. Should I just do that shape? Is anyone here? You want to give me feedback? No live views. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, you missed out. <laughs> Um, let's go with that. Let's just, let's just keep going and see how it looks. Oops. <laughs> so we got that shape. I'm gonna block it in a little more. And then bring in some details. So here, 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 there's like the wooden or the metal frame. And then in the middle, let's see, the one from Stellarium has a round thing in the middle. And I kind of like that, that's classic. So this, so the sword can kind of hit that and be deflected, right? Kind of absorb some of the blow. Okay. Just having fun, you know. This is good. This is really a, a simple, a simple constellation, so it doesn't need a lot. But, oh, you know what? I'm gonna make this look like a sun. Yeah. Okay, super simple, but now we got a sketch. Now I can change the opacity to like, I don't know, 33, and then you trace your sketch. So put down here where we have what we call the line art. And then hmm. what are my brush settings at? I think they're good. Yeah. And then just go a little bit bigger on the brush. Just just one. Okay. And now, this is where you just need to have, excuse me, uh, clear, crisp lines, which is not always easy for me. Is that going down a little transparent? 
I don't know if I want that setting. I'm glad I caught that now. So I go into the brush settings, which I believe is this. And the transfer, I don't want pen pressure. I just want the shape dynamics pen pressure. It didn't, it didn't take, it does that sometimes. Oh, I thought I turned that off. Do I need to do it that way? It doesn't want to turn off. Maybe I need to do it that way. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oops, that was weird. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we're cooking. So, get a little closer. Brush. Maybe I'll just do slow and careful. Wait, what wait? Another cool tool which I should be using is vertical symmetry, which in this case will be very helpful. Very helpful indeed. Now it turns out my art is not perfectly vertical, so huh, there we go. Now check this out. Only have to do it once. That was so close, but I'm gonna do it one more time. Do I like that shape? Well, I'm going with it, I'm running with it. See how close that was to being a perfect circle? That's pretty good. I'll take it. Come on. Okay. Now I can turn off the symmetry. Sketch. Oh yeah, this is gonna. I think this is gonna work. Let's actually turn the symmetry back on real quickly. Put it back. Oh, I, I probably could have left. Okay. Well, anyway, um, and then get this in here. And this. Yeah, I should take my brush it. A little smaller. Come on. There we go. That's the basic outline. Now, no symmetry for the details. Oops, symmetry off. I don't remember how I did this in the past. Um, so if I look at, yeah, I put some, this is like some sh shiny part of shiny shield thing. I, uh, I'll leave that like that. Guy. Oh no, that was weird. I'm glad my computer is handling this. Just put a little details up in here. Um, if the light's coming from there, then this is actually in the wrong spot. 
pretty sure the light wouldn't be there. You just put in some happy little detail lines. Anywhere you want, really, you know. Just let, let the pen decide. But also, you can erase it if you change your mind. Nothing. Nothing is permanent here. You can just keep on going. Keep on trying. There we go. Some happy little detail lines in there. Great. Now, I want this shield to have a little bit of a bulge, right? It's not flat. So, if light were to be hitting it somewhere from the top left, then it would be darker on the bottom left. And I was thinking... No, this is actually hard. I don't... I'm trying to imagine the light hitting this. Give it some depth. Ah. That gives it some depth looking stuff. But, but how? Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Did I do it? Should I do it that way? I don't know. Just kind of play around with it till you get what you want, you know? I think this will work. I've been a, sticking with crotch hat, cr cross hatching in this in this way. Um, not too shabby. Let's go with that. And then I like to go under here. Why can't I see the bottom of my screen? Okay. Add a new layer, shading. And then here's what I usually do. I'll drop this down to like 33%, but not the brush, just the whole layer. Then I can brush in some extra level of depth to this with a, not the same opacity. And give it, and just kind of go over some of these lines a little bit. Make it shiny. Make it real, real really glow. I don't know if my lighting is perfect, but I think it'll do. And bring some lighting up here and down here. Just some general rim lighting, so to speak. Something like that. And I missed some details on here. Doesn't have to be much, but just a little something, something. Some metal surface, but I'm just gonna do some of these. Some of these lines, just, just details. Doesn't matter exactly what they are. They, it gives, gives the image complexity. Now, I'm not loving this the lighting choices here with my lines, so I'm going to erase that. Go back to another brush, go down a little bit, and sometimes it just once you get the full picture, then you can kind of readjust, fix your choices. Uh, see, yeah, once you see how it looks, I think that's better. I don't know. Okay. I like that. That's a pretty cool shield. So now we got to throw in some color. That's where it really pops out. It really comes to life, you know? So how I do this on, these, on this piece of art is I turn that into 
a mask and that into a mask. Then I come over to here and can non-destructively add some color here. Brush, I picture, well, let's see, that's got wood and gold. Those are not colored, but I imagine that that's the inverse, which is what I want to do. I'm going to put like a mahogany red, kind of. Uh, kind of bright, so it pops. It's going to be a new book. And I'm just going to brush that down. A nice, clean, crisp base coat. Give it some color. Now turn it to a gold color for the rim. Ooh. Sure. And then for this sun here in the middle. Of course, this is just the one layer. I'm gonna have to do this on both layers because right now it looks a little weird. This is fun. Fun, fun, fun. I think I'll just do this on the outside line. Let the other one be the, where the wood is depicted. Okay, now what we do to give us some depth is we add in some contrasting colors. So for the yellow, opposite of yellow is purple. Hmm. So what we're going to do here, let's, see, let's just try it. Maybe bluish purple. Um, and now we're going to turn on the opacity and turn it down and just Brush in some subtle other color, like contrasting color. It's like, give it some more, a little bit more realistic. Try to stick to like one ink, one, one side of it, you know? So if it, so like, it could be the shadows perhaps. Of course this is, if this is shiny, shadows are a little unpredictable. Anyway, I'm gonna put that on both layers. The, the shadows underneath and the line art. Just give it some depth. There we go. Beautiful. And I almost think that same color could work for the red. Opposite of red is what? Like a red, yellow, and blue. Uh, I should know this off the top of my head. What, what, what's, what, what's the complementary color of red? Anybody? I just had the brain shut down. So let's just keep, let's just use the same color in some of the red areas, see how it looks. Gives it some character, yeah? Just a, just a touch, remember, it's, I'm using some opacity here, but yeah. And sometimes what I'll do is then I'll then go with a, a very op opaque white to really just give it that highlight on certain parts. This really adds the depth to it. Something like that. The highlights. Okay. Maybe make the center thing really white to show that it's brighter or something. Shiny, draw some focus to it. Yeah, did that work? 
I don't know. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what I didn't do is save this, so I'm going to control S that. And uh, just for now, I'm just going to put it on my desktop and name it Scudum. I don't know how to spell that, so I'm going to do shield for now. Can't spell shield either. <laughs> All right. So, what we do now, can get rid of our reference images, put this in a group together, bring it over here. And in this case, like it's it's upside down, right? I drew it upside down anyway. And actually, I'm gonna duplicate this and turn it into a smart object. I think this preserves details because I'm gonna be shrinking it. Just a little bit. Okay, the other thing I gotta do is bring up the vibrance. And the constellation. Okay, this is kind of fun. So let's erase this for now. Um, and I may need to fix this later, but this guy here, you go to select color range, and it already knows what color range you want because I've done this so many times. I'm going to jump that onto another layer with Control J, star lines, and just like that, I'm going to have a preset style for this. I think it's this one. Give it some glow. And now I got to grab the stars out of this with the marquee. Ooh, some of these are really tiny, like I said, but. It'll work just fine. Oops. Don't want to lose it. Good enough. Because I'm going to be kind of tidying this up again with the style. So it doesn't have to be too completely perfect. Why is that in there? It's hard to do this with a pen. Why am I using the pen? And then I, I'll grab this little guy too. Seems to be part of it. Is that it? Yeah, those five for now, I guess. I'll jump those onto a new layer, name them stars, enter, use this. And just like that, we have our customized, oops, oh, there we go, uh, star lines, which we will put, because these are actually more important than my artwork, because this is what you're gonna see when you look up in the sky. I'm gonna put it above my art. Like that. Okay. There we go. So I drew a constellation. We will send that over to the author, to John, to see what he thinks. Maybe make some changes. Who knows? But there you have it. So that's how it looks in the sky. Anyway. Yeah, there you go. That was fun. Okay. Dun dun. Welcome to the artwork. Okay. I like that. All right. In closing, remember, check out this book by, on Amazon, John A. Reed, Learn to Stargaze for Kids of All Ages. Anybody, like, this is great for anyone who wants to learn how to stargaze or just is interested in cool art that I did. Or maybe, I mean, really, the stars are beautiful. So go check them out. Get this book to help you out. Uh, link in the description below. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I hope that you enjoyed watching this, spending some time with me. Um, thank you. Appreciate you being here. I hope that you continue to do things that, that make you happy. Find hobbies that you can do, that you can actively, proactively do, because that's where the most fulfillment is. When you be creative or, you know, whatever it is that, that, you, that interests you. So there you have it. Hope you have a good day. 
And of course, remember to smile.